All right, here we go. This one, we're gonna talk, uh, <laughs> words, let's try that again. Uh, last one, we talked about solving exponential equations, so uh, natural step forward, we'll be talking about solving logarithmic equations. Uh, so really, likewise, if you're stuck in exponential form, we put it in log. If we're stuck in log, we're gonna put it in exponential. Uh, so with these, uh, I'm kind of stuck in log form. I don't have anything on the outside multiplying. I don't have plus or minus anything. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put an exponential form. So 5 to the 17 equals x. That's a really big number. Uh, my guess is my calculator won't even do it, probably. So 5 to the 17th, look at that, it did, but it's times 10 to the 11th, so it's a huge number. So I would just leave it like that, x equals 5 to the 17th. That's it. Uh, biggest thing that we're going to be on the lookout for here is we cannot be taking log of a negative number. Uh, the reason why that is, if you think about your log function, whether it's increasing or decreasing, we had a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. So we cannot have negative solutions. Uh, you cannot be taking log of a negative number. You can have negative solutions, just log of a negative number. Like if we had log of uh, x squared equals log of 49, the way that we would solve this one, Notice I have log of something equals log of something else. So I can say x squared equals 49. So when I take the square root, that'll be plus or minus 7. That negative is a solution because when I put it back into my original, uh, that negative 7 squared will create positive 49, which is log of a positive number. So both of those will be solutions in that. All right, that was just a, uh, a freebie for you guys. That was an extra problem. All right, so here, stuck in log form. Remember your base is e. So I'm going to rewrite this in exponential and say e to the 3.4 equals x. Type that in your calculator to get an actual decimal approximation. So I have e to the uh, 3.4. So it looks like it's 29.964. So x is approximately 29.964. That's it. Uh, with the next one, I don't have it in pure log form yet. See how I have that 4 on the outside multiplying this? So what I can do is I can divide both sides by 4 to get ln of x equals, see, 3.7, uh, 1.85, I believe. I'm going to check my calculator because it's the summer and I don't trust myself. But I should because it is 1.85. Uh, so again, the base is e. I'm stuck in log form. So I'm going to say that this is e to the 1.85 equals x. I can't do that in my head though, so I'm going to do 1.85, either 1.85 in my calculator. So x equals 6.36. That's good enough for me. All right, this one. Notice I have a 4 plus 7 natural log of x. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract that 4 to the other side. So I have 7 ln x equals 5.8. Now I'm going to divide by 7 on both sides. So x, ln of x equals 5.8 divided by 7, which is not a nice number. Uh, so I'm going to leave it 5.8 over 7 to make sure that we're accurate. Because uh, then I can rewrite this since the base is e. e to the 5.8 divided by 7 equals x. Uh, so e to the 5.7 divided by, or 5.8 divided by 7 uh, should be 2.290. And that should be it. All right, here we have 12 plus 3. So I'll subtract the 12, subtract the 12. So then I have 3 log base 7 of 2x equals 6. Then that 3 is on the outside multiplying still. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So divided by 3 and divided by 3. So log base 7 of 2x equals 2. And then I'm stuck in mod form, so I'm going to rewrite this in exponential. So 7 to the other side. So 7 to the second equals well, everything I had on the inside, so 2x. 7 squared is 49 equals 2x. 49 divided by 2, x equals 24.5. That's it. Last one. You guys did awesome. Uh, stuck in log form. Yeah, we got a bunch of junk in there, but you cannot subtract, you cannot divide anything that's inside the log. So the first thing that we need to do is rewrite this in exponential form. So that I have 3 to the 4th equals 3x plus 6. We know what 3 to the 4th is. If you don't, you can type it in your calculator, but it's 81 equals 3x plus 6. Then subtract the 6, so minus 6 would give me 75 equals 3x. Divide by 3, so x equals 25. 
All right, look at that, five minute video. Wow, I don't think I've ever made one of those. All right, that, that, that's really it. That's all I got for you guys. If you're stuck in log form, put it in exponential. Uh, vice versa, if you're stuck in exponential, put it in logs. Uh, for logs, check that you don't have any negative logs in your originals. All right, let me know. I'm here for you guys. I'll talk to you all soon.